Based on your own experience, what was this, this church like? My own experience, uh, it was at times confrontational, uh, but it, it also had another side. I, I learned a lot of music. Uh, I learned a lot about the Word of God. Uh, I just didn't learn how to live the Word of God, and that's, that's the key difference. But when you talk about uh, confrontational, just in your own experience, uh, I know you didn't see any physical violence back when, when you yeah. were there, um, but just in terms of what was confrontational? Um, uh, attitudes. If, if uh, for example, if you did something that uh, wasn't necessarily liked by the leadership, uh, you were sometimes embarrassed publicly or shunned in some way. Uh, other times you weren't. Shunned in the uh, sense of people weren't allowed to sit with you, people weren't allowed to, to see you socially? At times, yes, yes. There was one particular uh, family that was, I thought was always targeted, was Bruce and Debbie Leonard. I know, again, I know they did a heinous act and a despicable, uh, horrible crime, and they need to be accountable for that. But they also, too, were victims. Over, You're saying uh, over the years they were targeted years. by by the leadership of the church? Yes, they were. I, there was yes. a witness called what happened to Lucas and his brother, uh, uh, called it a counseling session. And I know you said, again, you never witnessed any physical abuse, and it's important to state that. But did you ever see one of these these counseling sessions? I found myself on the receiving end of a counseling session. It was, again, never uh, uh, abusive uh, physically. Um, it always focused around the, the spiritual, the psychological, um, and emotional abuse of it all. Uh, there were times that uh, I was being accused of things that I didn't do. And uh, that was one of the reasons why I left. Do you think the church should get shut down? Yes. Yes, I do. Because? Sadly, yes, I do. And it's, it's sad because the community needs a church. Every community needs a loving church. And again, we, we have to be accountable and responsible for our own words and actions. Based on what you know, were you surprised that this happened, that this, this death happened? I was appalled. Well, appalled is one thing, but surprised is another. Were you surprised? I was more than surprised. I was horrified. I, I don't know how anybody could beat somebody to death like the way they did just for wanting to leave a church. I, I don't understand. And, I, and I'm very sorry for how negatively this has affected their lives. You think you're over something, and it comes back, and you want to overcome. You want to forget. But when situations and circumstances and atrocities happen like this, it, it makes it very difficult.